March 2019, the Zamani project from the University of Cape Town traveled to Sri Lanka to spatially document the historic sites of Polonarua and Medirigiria. The objective of the Sri Lanka mission was to create accurate, textured 3D computer models of the most relevant heritage monuments, as well as plans, sections, elevations, author photos and a GIS. The data is specifically intended for scientific research purposes, conservation and restoration, site management and as a contribution towards the enhancement of tourism. The Zamani Research Group has been documenting heritage sites since 2004 and aims to capture spatial data of heritage sites in a holistic manner in order to create a permanent record of important monuments and their immediate environments. The group works on a not-for-profit basis and to date the project has documented almost 250 monuments on some 60 sites in Africa, the Middle East and Asia. Polonarua is a UNESCO World Heritage Site and contains several Buddhist temples, monasteries, statues and stupas. The Zamani team scanned and created models of 14 of the monuments. Medirigiria was built as a monastery complex, probably in the 3rd century BC, with the Vatadagi as its central structure. Four monuments were scanned and modelled here by the Zamani team. In Sri Lanka we used a combination of ZNF and Leica laser scanners. In total, 670 scans were taken. Scans can be registered in the field with the use of a tablet PC linked to the scanner using the ZNF app. Further scan processing is done back in our office before scans are exported, ready for import into Reality Capture. We use the DJI Phantom 4 Pro for all of our aerial photography. It's compact, reliable and takes excellent raw images. We also use a Nikon DSLR for taking raw terrestrial images. Photos are backed up and organized every evening. We also run draft alignments in reality capture to make sure that we have enough good images before leaving the site. We took 16,200 terrestrial photos and 7,100 aerial photos at both the sites, which then get imported into reality capture for alignment. We use the same DJI and Nikon cameras to capture our panorama images. These images are used to create a panorama tour of each site. The panorama tours can be viewed on our website. We took about 3,000 individual panorama images in Sri Lanka. A Trimble RTK GNSS system provides us with coordinate information which we use to geo-reference our laser scans. We also use these coordinates as ground control points for our orthophoto processing and in our GIS. Our processed images and laser scans are imported into reality capture for alignment, modeling and texturing. Combining laser scans, aerial and terrestrial images ensures that we capture as much of the structure as possible. Reality capture allows us to inspect the alignment and also reports on the alignment quality. The 3D models produced in Reality Capture form the foundation of the plans, sections and elevations that we produce. The models can also be imported into game engine software for animation purposes. field campaign and processing of the Sri Lankan data was successful, with 17 of the major monuments documented. Reality Capture played a major part in the processing both on-site and in the office.